Hi guys, uh, today is the 1st of May, so time for a new vlog. Um, it's actually a free day here uh, in Germany and it will be also in France. It's a, Funnily, it's a day of work and so it's a free day, <laughs> it's a bank holiday. Um, little one is next to me walking around, <laughs> uh, brother is downstairs. And yeah, so that's um, kind of my outfit uh, for the day. Uh, the weather got finally nice, but it's still a tiny bit windy, a tiny bit cold, so I want to be still a bit careful. I actually wanted to put a dress. I thought, finally the sun is out, I'm gonna go for a dress. Um, but we are going with uh, some friends to do some attractions for the kids. Um, there's a place uh, just next to our home at the moment where, where there are a lot of attractions. And the thing is, I know my son loves to do a thing which is like a giant slide. And because he's too young, still um, he has to do it as an adult and you have to sit and you have to take him between your legs and then it's a huge slide. And with the dress, you know, I could see the drama coming so instead yeah i went i'm gonna show you a bit so i went for this little top uh, which is from cezanne um i really like it then i have a classic jeans with little holes i mean if you've seen my video uh, recently you know that this is my beef currently with the levis jean but what good are you what do you gotta do Hi again, so it's now the evening and uh, I just wanted to pop in shortly here. So we had a lovely day, it was very very nice uh, going to do all the attractions and so on. Um, my son loved it, um, I could not stop him. We also did this um, huge wheel, I don't know how it's called in, in, in English, I forgot the name. Um, but this huge wheel, you know, where you have a nice view over the city, so it was really cool. He loved it also. Um, yeah, it was it was very nice. And then on the afternoon we uh, simply chilled in the garden. As well. And yeah, and that was about it. Uh, it was a nice day, a nice uh, bank holiday. Tomorrow is uh, back to work, uh, back to daycare for them and so on. So I'm probably gonna go uh, take a good shower and everything. Then I have still a few, few paperwork and this kind of stuff to do this evening. And um, yeah, and that's, that's it for today. Hi, so I'm on my way to work with my laptop. Little outfit check, it's quite warm outside, but I have matching ballerinas. Uh, but I'm still a bit cold, so I'm protecting my v-neck with a little scarf. And uh, yeah, little outfit of the day. Hi guys, it's Monday morning, and um, I think we're gonna have fun this week, at least today. Oh, it's crazy. Um, so I come here to share with you a few fun, fun things. Uh, it's like eight o'clock in the morning. I've not had my breakfast yet. And I just did a saving mission of my credit card because I realized um, I put it yesterday in the back pocket of my gin because I needed to, well, place a season order for the last release. <coughs> so yeah, I grabbed it, put it in the back pocket, then put it, and then I realized I put it in the dirty laundry. And this morning I started the laundry and it was still inside. So yeah, I just had a run, it's a bit wet, <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's still gonna work. We will, we shall see, especially since um, I also picked on the ground uh, this little magnet and very cleverly yesterday, I put it in the same pocket next to my credit card. And um, I don't know, let's see, let's see if it still works. Uh, and on top of that today, I have to contact our building manager or I don't know how that's called in, um, I'm sorry, you're falling a bit. Oh, that's cool in English because yesterday I dropped, you know, in this little hole in the bathroom, like where you wash your hands, the, it's called the, the sink, but with my accent, I think it's gonna sound like a thing or I don't know. So in the, the sink uh, where you will wash your hands, uh, there's this little hole in the middle for the water to leave and it fell right inside. And in our previous buildings, I knew how to open it and get the things back. It was not so complicated. But in our current building, it's a kind of a different system. And I think I need a special tool or a special kind of key. I don't know. So I have to call the guy that he opens it. And I really want to retrieve because it was a gift from my sister and I love it. And um, yeah, so I'm going to look for this ring. So yeah, and my son was a bit sick yesterday. So yo. At least I'm in home office today. I'm gonna take it slow. I want to cook myself something quite nice for lunch. Um, I bought the, the things I need on, on Saturday. I'm gonna try. It's a bit of a training thing. You will see. We will do it together later. I will take you with me. Um, 
But yeah, pff, I hope at least uh, work is gonna go well and that my trying recipe is gonna end up well. At least the sun is shining also. They had planned a lot of rain. We get sun, it's a bit colder again, but it's sunny and that's at least something very nice. So yeah, that was a Monday morning update. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna pick my breakfast. I realized I told you I was picking my breakfast and I was not telling you what I'm gonna do. I told you I will show you more cooking. The reason why I'm not showing you especially the breakfast, the kitchen is a mess, uh, is just, um, well, it's not really anything interesting or fancy. Uh, my breakfast is basically a bit of um, juice and um, yeah, look at the mess. Don't, don't, don't look at that. Yes, it's a spider like that. Um, yeah, it's a bit juice and a toast with Nutella. So. Not very dietetic, not very nutritionist approved, not very fancy, not glamour, not anything. But um, I eat my dose of chocolate in the morning and I like Nutella. And so in the morning I like to have a toast with Nutella. That's it. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's still the morning, um, I had a few minutes before I'm starting working and I need to buy a new bike. Um, I'm gonna start doing some Pilates Reformer, there's a studio which is not far away from, uh, from home. I went there uh, after I had my second child uh, for some postpartum uh, sessions and I loved it. It was the first time I was trying this uh, Pilates Reformer and it was so great. And um, so they offer also classes including in the evening. And the thing is, um, I can go there by food. It's like almost a bit under a half an hour. Or I can go there by bike. Sorry again for the mess. My f the flight is always kind of a mess. Um, but anyway, um, and so by bike, it's much, 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 much faster. So I was thinking about buying a bike. I had been thinking about it for some time anyway. Um, Munich is a city which is extremely bike friendly. So it makes it very easy to do a lot of stuff. And there's a bike I love. Um, it's very famous. A lot of friends have it. It's from the brand called Decathlon. I don't know if you have it wherever you are. And I wanted to show you because I'm actually hesitating between two colors. Um, oh wait, let me let me show you. Let me do so, yeah. So that's the bike, um, so it's called the City Bike Elops. Uh, it's very famous and you can easily recognize it because the wheels are white, which I find pretty cool. And they have quite funny colors. So I don't know if you can see, yeah, here you can see. They call it green, but look, it's like such a bright color. Then there's like this light blue version, which is very famous. I have several friends who have this one, but so I'm not, I'm thinking of not taking this one because I find they often look a bit dirty uh, quickly. And also, yeah, you see, it, actually quite a lot or they have this beautiful navy blue i'm i really like navy blue as a color so i'm really thinking about taking that color or i hesitate if i go for a bit of a lighter one the thing is also as you can see the price is very good it's as i said extremely famous um yeah, it's, it's, it's a very, very good one. And what I love is they have different sizes. So I'm obviously going to go for the XS because, yeah, I'm a mini mini. Um, I asked a friend who is the same size as me and has a bike. And she told me this is, um, yeah, she has it in XS, the smallest size. So, yeah, I think I'm probably going to go for the navy blue at the end. But um, I wanted to show it to you in case you have uh, this brand with Decathlon like that um they originally i think they're from france or at least in france they have a lot of very big shops but in germany here they not only also deliver but they also have some shops so you can always have a look around because they have their own brand i mean they sell branded stuff but they also have their own brand which is often very good quality and very nice prices and yeah nice designs too so yeah i'm gonna buy a bike hi so i'm gonna take my lunch break soon uh, before I just wanted to come shortly, I'm gonna make a little um, marinated sauce for uh, the salmon. I'm planning to cook some salmon for lunch. And last time I wanted to like pimp it up a bit and I had bought some sesame oil. And I really like um, kind of Asian vibe taste uh, to things. So I mixed last time some uh, sesame oil and some soja soya sauce. Um, to put on the on the fish, I just simply my little pencil and I just put it like that on the fish, and it was really really good. And now I've decided to try to bring it one step further, and so I also got some some fresh citron, some coriander. I think I'm gonna try to add some some um, ginger, uh, maybe some some citron uh, root tree. Um, 
Zitronengras, it's called in, in German. It's uh, this, this herb, you know, um, yeah. So, yeah, and I thought, so I have not really a recipe for it. I'm just gonna uh, do a mix and try to have a taste that I like. I'm gonna do a bit more because I want to, I will do cook some also noodles with it, some pasta and um, some, some Chinese pasta. And I want to use it as also a sauce for uh, my pasta and my vegetable and everything. So, uh, yeah, let's give it a try. So I thought, I think I'm gonna first put some some sesame oil, I don't know. So again, I'm just going on the filling. I'm gonna put a big spoon of it. I really like, it. it's all based on my taste. I really like the taste of sesame and I really like the taste of soja sauce. So I'm gonna go with it a bit heavy handed, let's say. Um, I have this little thing that I can, okay, I can mix it, you know, a bit better. So that I can give it a try, see how it is already in terms of taste. Let me grab a little spoon. Okay, I like it. I like it because it's really, yeah, it goes very well together. I'm gonna add citron, citron. Let's see if that would be enough. Okay, I got a few of the seeds. Okay. I'm gonna just keep mixing some ingredients and yeah. Okay, I think it's not bad. I think it's quite good. Um, I thought about putting the coriander in it, but I think I will not. I think that will be a bit too much. I think I will sprinkle it fresh on my pasta at the end. So I'm now gonna marinate a bit my salmon with it. I've got my salmon. Okay, I will put it back in the fridge and I will wait or I think maybe in the oven I have to look if I have to let it out um, but I don't want to let my salmon so much out at the moment so I think I will put it back in the fridge I will let it half an hour go back to work and I will come back in half an hour to put it in the oven and everything and so start cooking the stuff see you later so I'm gonna start cooking a bit my vegetables so my I just cut the just get the, the zucchini, they call it in English. Forgot the name, you know, this vegetable. <laughs> um, courgette in French. Uh, coriander is also cut. I have this uh, pasta, this white rice noodle. Uh, that I'm very looking forward. I'm warming up some water and here I will then cook a bit my um, my vegetable in the meantime and then I will take some of the pasta to add to it and then I will add the sauce and everything and then as the oil I will use sesame oil to cook them because well obviously that's what makes sense with the recipe <laughs> Time to get uh, someone in the oven, the pasta cooking, uh, time to bring everything together and cooking and simmering. This is the finished meal and I'm very much looking forward to eating it. As you can see, I love coriander. Um, I had enough for a second thing so I can at least the, the pasta and the, with the vegetable I can eat. We finish it this evening and it looks so good. It made me so hungry. It smelled amazing. I will tell you uh, how good it was, but I wanted to show you. It looks cute, I think. So I'm done with lunch. It was so so good. I'm very happy. It was really really good. I'm I'm it was perfect. I ended up adding a tiny bit of um, soy, soja soya sauce inside um, because I felt it was just missing a bit salt, a bit of a little kick. So I ended up a bit uh, just in the pasta, and it was perfect. It was really really good. I ended up eating everything. I thought I would have some leftover for tonight, but um, it was just too good, too good. 
and uh, yeah so if you have any questions you also you can ask me in the comment uh, section below and now i'm gonna get back to work i called also the this morning the um, guy in charge of the building he will come over this afternoon hopefully we're gonna be able to recover the ring i've lost that's cross fingers he also need to look we have a door which is not closing properly something like that so he's gonna have a look at all of that and uh, yeah and then just work and until the kids will come back and uh, and that's it guys i'm back uh, shortly um the guy from the building was just there and it was a bit of a mess but we managed to get the ring back it was this ring i'm so happy because it's a gift from my sister and it's yeah it has a very special value to me and it was so complicated to access it but what's great i will finish later because i have to absolutely go back to work but um I had to empty my first drawer under the sink, which is the one where I keep all my makeup, a clean product, face care, and so on. And I had been meaning to do a good cleanup of it for quite some time, and this is now the perfect opportunity. I got to empty it, I cleaned it, and now I have to think about how I will put everything back, what I will throw away, and everything, do a big sorting. Um, but so that was great. I got my ring back, and um, probably this evening or tomorrow evening, I'm gonna finish cleaning my bathroom drawer and this will be a very good thing done too. So yay, two in one. The, the day is getting better and better and better. So yay. Oh my God, guys, you remember earlier I told you it was gonna rain later today? Um, let me show you, it was sunny this afternoon. Let me show you. What? What in the actual... <laughs> it's, it's the end of the world. <laughs> um, yeah, nice, lovely. I wanted maybe to go with a walk with my son this evening. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see, hopefully tomorrow will be better. Hi guys, it's now the evening. I'm in the bathroom. Um, let's do some uh, cleaning of the drawer, as I was telling you before, when he came to give me the ring, this um, building guy, uh, we had to empty uh, completely one of the drawer and I put everything in a big box and I clean the drawer and I'm gonna fill it again. I'm gonna show you the before and then we will check the after also. So this is now huge empty drawer and here I had covered it a bit uh, this is the whole mess <laughs> I have to fit back inside there so um, yeah let's get started <laughs> And it is over. It looks so much cleaner. There were no more space here. It was all full, full, full. I'm actually even surprised at how much space there is. Like, this is like empty, you know. And here, okay, here it's a bit more stacked, <laughs> but there's still a lot of space. I had no more problem organizing everything. So I'm really happy. I threw also away a lot of stuff. I have like a, a full bag of, um, of things that were old and damaged. That's maybe why there is now so much space. But it's a really good thing. Hey, with these words, uh, this time I think I'm gonna truly say bye for today. That was a productive day. Uh, that was a really productive day. We got some cooking, I got a ring back, um, crazy weather. I get to clean this whole thing. Yeah, that was a, a good Monday. <laughs> um, let's see what the rest of the week has in store for us. And yeah, have a nice evening and I will see you then, I guess, one of the next days. Hi guys, so this is a new day. Um, God, I should not touch. Uh, I have an eye infection and I have a lung infection. <coughs> yeah, exactly. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so it's a slow day, not much going on, not much going to happen. Uh, I'm going to rest a lot. Uh, I just wanted to pop in here very shortly because um, on the way back from uh, my doctor, she is just next to the Muji uh, store here. So I thought, hey, you know what, I'm going to stop as long as I'm just next to it and I'm going to show you. So I got, this is, I also picked myself a lunch, uh, some sushis and something like that. We have a very nice sushi place and so I just called to order. Okay, um, yeah, I got that. Uh, it has a nut coated with milk chocolate. They had it on the uh, 
like at the cashier and yeah i mean you know how it feels these are the little things to put inside so i took two like that and i took two like that for bigger earrings this will be for the tiny earrings and with it i picked um this um, acrylic i have two actually two of them just one they cost like uh, prices maybe still there yeah 25 euros um, and these, I don't remember, I don't think there's a price written in it here. I dropped one, I will pick it after. Um, yeah, and that's about it. I also picked just, I also just picked this little um, note, notice thing. Uh, I always end up jotting uh, thoughts and things and on tiny pieces of paper. And so I think this will be quite useful. It was also next, it was like, three euro fifty so I did not break the bank with this and yeah so I bought the second one of this um, I'm not gonna show you because I have also medicaments and stuff inside um, yeah so yeah so that's it uh, I stopped there after the doctor went to the pharmacy um, and then picked some lunch and now um, I'm just gonna eat lunch probably go for a nap um, but take the meds rest probably watch some tv shows um, slow day slow 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 day and i hope this is not it looks a bit better this morning it was really looking terrible but i'm gonna hide it a bit <laughs> because it's still not so perfect um yeah i hope it's not gonna last too long because it's a pain and um yeah and it ended up you know i mentioned in the previous vlog that i've been sick all the time and have this cough ongoing and so on and it turned out it went and came back and the doctor thinks so it was not the same infection than the one i had i probably cut got one after the other again and again and again because my immune system was a bit down and so now the one I have is um, is a bronchitis so yeah hopefully now with the meds and everything it's gonna be gone for good and that's about it guys because nothing's gonna happen today <laughs> have a very lovely day and I will see you in the next day Good morning, guys. Um, same thing from here. It's a bedroom. Uh, it's morning. I'm gonna go. My kids are still sleeping, but they're gonna wake up shortly. And um, sorry, the light is not that good here, so the quality of the video is so lala. Um, but I just wanted to show you my uh, solution I found for my earrings and so on. I followed one of the advice of someone you saw. I showed you last time after I went to Muji that I bought them and now I want to show them how I've organized everything. Uh, also what I had from before already for my necklace. I'm very happy my eyes are looking better. Uh, this one is still a bit red um, but the antibiotics have been working extremely good so I'm very happy. I'm still taking it slow today. Um, we're gonna bring the kids to daycare and then I'm gonna rest because I still have to be careful with uh, with the eyes. So yeah but I'm gonna show you. So this is it. This is this little acrylic thing. It's actually two sets of two. Uh, what I showed you in the just before. Um, and so I've bought this insert and I've put here all of my little earrings. I have also some rings. I don't have that many rings, so they were all like fitting um, inside. Um, my wedding ring, I my wedding bang, I, I just don't, don't take it out. So um, yeah, so this is it. I've ended up putting sometimes two pair of earrings in one of these little things because otherwise it would be too much. And then I also bought the bigger inserts for uh, like bigger earrings. And um, then I have here another one with a lot of earrings. And finally, the last one with a bit more crazy fun um, earrings so this is about it if i will need more space i could always add one more of this little case on top uh, which is great previously i had a lot of things stored in these little boxes also i removed the jewels that were stored there and put it there <laughs> the watch is here i have to get some i have to change the band of this one and get some batteries in them it's um i don't know if you followed i don't my Cartier watch is being repaired i'm gonna make a video about the whole process but it's been taking more time than expected so i'm thinking about reviving one of my old watches uh, that i've not been using for years now um and uh, to use in the time because it's sometimes a bit annoying and here is what I have for my necklaces and yeah that's about it guys um, yeah I will see you later probably today hi again so I'm going out I thought to stay with the blue and camel kind of tone of these little loafers matching camel scarf little peekaboo and yeah I'm ready to run some errands look at this huge 
package that has arrived. It's really, really, really huge. Uh, it's the bike I've ordered that I showed you. So it came quite fast, actually, less than a week. Um, it's my husband who picked the, got the package and he was a bit like, oh, what is this huge thing? And uh, yeah, luckily he knew I had ordered the bike and so he guessed uh, quite quickly, but he was at the beginning a bit shocked at the size of the package. And I feel a bit bad for the delivery guy because I saw him and he was alone carrying that huge thing. And it's quite heavy because it's a bike. I mean, he has a little trolley thing, you know, like uh, to, to carry it around, but still. I'm going to unpack it and I'm going to show you. And here it is. It is extremely pretty. I'm very happy. I really like this white tire effect and the navy blue. It's very pretty with brown basket and brown handles. Um, it looks very good. And so I took size XS, which was perfect. It took me a bit time because I actually had to build it. Build it. <laughs> Not everything, but I had to build the front wheel. I had to build the pedals. I had to build a bit around... Um, this like to set up uh, the axis and here set up how high or low I want it but uh, build the basket in and little things like that but yeah it looks great I'm gonna park it in our bike uh, garage in the building and uh, yeah I cannot wait to use it especially now the weather is gonna get gorgeous yeah 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 I'm going shortly face camera. My eyes are not too shiny anymore with the antibiotics, thank God. But I just wanted to say that actually, because I think that's maybe, I don't know, a fun fact, I don't know. Um, I actually love building stuff. So I had actually a lot of fun building the bike. Even if I struggled with one or two things overall, I had a lot of fun. You know, building in a house, I'm the one who loves building IKEA furniture. I love building furniture. I love building stuff. I don't know. It's just like that. I just really enjoy it. <laughs> Hi guys, <clears throat> I'm going out. Um, just changed for a black pair of pants. I did not have much energy to change for much else. A little coat. I picked my uh, new little bag. I'm very happy about it. I have a bottle and uh, yeah, I'm going to go for dinner with a friend and very happy about it. <laughs> okay guys, the cocktail. Oh, and we are gonna eat, eat, eat. <laughs> Hi, hi, uh, today is Mother's Day and I'm wearing a dinner, which let me show you. Um, hoppala. <laughs> uh, I made a video presenting my dinner, it's those uh, traditional uh, Bavarian uh, clothes. And yeah, we went to see my in-laws in Bavaria in the south, so I did. I can still not really put any eye makeup uh, after my little eye issue, but it's getting better. <laughs> my daughter is, wait there <laughs> playing around and speaking about her um she actually destroyed i had a pearl necklace i mean you can still see a tiny bit the scratch uh, i was playing with her and then she just like grabbed like that and she broke it i collected some pearls here i'm gonna have to get it repaired and i yeah uh, i have <laughs> got a little scratch living dangerously huh uh, isn't it you? <laughs> but so yeah, I have any way to pick another necklace that got repaired and um, some things that I got changed. And then I will ask at the same time if they can repair um, my pearl necklace because I love it. It's a very special one to me. It was a gift for my 18th birthday and so on. And so yeah, luckily it happened at home. So I got all the pearls. So it should not be a problem to um, repair it. Just changing the, the thing, uh, the thread. And then hopefully... That will be it. And yeah, maybe they can also put one which is a bit tighter. I don't know. Let's see. And you know, it's annoying because... So, let me show you. So it broke here. And here, next to the... You know, it has this uh, security system that I will not lose more than one pearl if something will be to happen. But obviously, it broke there. Of course. Of course. So yeah, it was... Um, Again, luckily I was sitting on the ground with her. Otherwise it would have been, you know, like in the movie with all the pearls falling around. They would have been, um, yeah, quite tragic actually because I don't think, um, I mean, it's in the flat so we would probably have found all of them but it would have been a bit more of a pain than just the four or five that fell. So, yeah, and so that's about it for today, guys. I will go after with my son and a friend, eat an ice cream. Uh, that would be lovely. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be nice. 
I hope you also, um, I think we don't celebrate Mother's Day at the same time in Germany than in the US and so on. I think it was already uh, gone in the US. And in France, it's also later. I find it interesting that Mother's Day is celebrated in different countries at different times. But so yeah, here it was today. If you already had it, I hope you had a nice time. I hope it was great. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, have a lovely day. Hi guys, and um, so this evening I'm gonna make a little salad, which is kind of a staple of mine in um, summer, also spring. I actually do it kind of all the time. I'm gonna show it to you, and I wanted just to do a short outfit check also before, so I just have this simple pullover. It's a little necklace that I actually don't wear often enough, I think. Um, and just simply black pants, um, yeah, black pants, little pullover like this, and that was it, it was a simple outfit for a relaxed day of home office, actually nothing big happening. And I'm gonna show you now the ingredients I use for doing this little salad. So yeah, so this is basically what you're gonna need. Um, I have some coriander, you don't need it. This actually, it's just, I love coriander, so when I can, I put it everywhere. I had some rest from the recipe from the other day, so I'm gonna use the rest for it. Quinoa is actually the base of the salad. And then the concept is just put some vegetables as you like it. I like to put some avocado, some tomato, and some cucumber as a base. This is really like base base. Sometimes I add a bit of onion, you don't have to. I like mozzarella, so I thought I will add some little of this little baby mozzarella thing. Um, and I use uh, um, citron more like uh, at the end for like the saucer. Um, not the saucer, how do you call it? This is German. For like the um, seasoning. I will do some some olive oil and some um, lemon. And um, yeah, but so basically the salad is mostly these ingredients and then you can just add whatever. If you want a bit more taste also, I like it a bit mild, but if you want to make it less mild, you can just replace, for example, the mozzarella with some feta cheese, um, goat cheese, then it will bring more of a, of a kick. You can also use different kind of cheese actually inside, or you can even just let the cheese completely out. You don't even have to do to put cheese. Sometimes I don't. Um, so yeah, basically that's it. I'm gonna cut and cook and everything, and then I'm gonna show you the rest. Okay, so we're back for the rest. I have the quinoa, I have the different ingredients. This is like the mix of lemon juice, salt, pepper, um, olive oil, and coriander. You add whatever based on your taste. So let's start with like the tomatoes. This I will put all of them. Then I will put all the cucumber. <laughs> Maybe. I have just one hand free. Oh, this might be a bit trickier. Otherwise, I will put the rest. Uh, I will finish later. Um, this, I think I will start by just putting a bit. And I will add some then um, how strong I want it. This, I'm going to put everything. And then I cut the coriander in it. Sometimes I put it at the end. But I've chosen now to, to do it already. And then, yeah. And then you have your salad, you can just mix it and that's it, you know. And you can add salt and pepper and lemon juice and and you make as much sauce as um, you need. It's really um, quite simple and um, yeah, because it's very neutral base and you can just pimp it as you want it. And, and yeah, and then you just have to enjoy. Pretty much looking forward to, I love this salad. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat and have a nice evening. I will see you in the next day. Hi guys, um, so new day. I thought I will do a bit of cooking and also show you a bit my outfit today. I was at work. Um, the kids are just now uh, in bed. Uh, it's a bit of mess all around uh, end of the day and everything. We made a quiche with my son this evening. It's a traditional, quite typical French dish. Um, it's very easy to do, um, very good. Uh, does not need a lot of ingredients. So I show you on the, the pictures. I could not really make a video because this is typically something I cook with my son. Uh, he really enjoys being like my little assistant and mixing stuff. And it's something you can very easily do with kids actually because there's not many ingredients, not so many complications steps they just basically need to pour everything in a big bowl and mix it all so you know they can already do it from a very young age um, 
you have of course to pre-measure the things for them but then that's it and i'm gonna show you my outfit so i'm wearing this uh, blouse from Cezanne that you know it's a mess everywhere wait i'm gonna put you here i'm gonna stick you and then i'm gonna try to go further to show you <laughs> yeah so it's uh, quite a simple outfit um yeah i don't know how good you could see um, but yeah, basically this blues, then, uh, wait, I'm gonna move away from all the toys, then this beige pants, and um, I put a little belt today, I hesitated, I think it could have done without the belt, but I don't know, I was kind of in the mood of, I want to try to incorporate more belts, uh, I'm not very good with belts, and I think um, I have to try, you know, it's training and then I will get better with it, I guess. And for shoes, I didn't have these shoes. I had, I think, some ballerinas, which are the same color than, than my top. I hesitated actually with beige one, um, but then I thought, you know what, I have this top, I have matching ballerinas. Um, yeah, so that's the occasion. And yeah, and that was it. No jacket or anything. The weather is getting very nice. So I rolled up the sleeves in the afternoon um, because, uh, yeah. Such a nice weather at the moment. And that's about it, guys. Um, I will go watch a TV show or something, and I will just go early to bed today. I wish you a nice evening. Hi, guys. So this is today's outfit for work. This little Cezanne blouse, necklace, necklace. I put some big pearls. Um, no eye makeup today because I have, again, a bit pain in my eyes. So... I have to be careful, took my big tote, I have my work laptop and everything, some silver ballerinas, little white pants, the weather was beautiful. And so yeah, that was my outfit for today. Hi, um, we are now Saturday, um, it's been kind of a long week, uh, it's uh, now a three days weekend, so that's actually nice, we're going to spend some time with the kids. Um, it was yeah quite some work and also a lot also with the kids, the um, fire firemen, firemen brigade came to the daycare of my son, and I was so happy he was wearing his little uh, fireman jacket, and they could go inside the fireman truck and check the things and so on, and it was he was so so happy. They could even like, um, like do some water things and so on, and he was it was really great. Um, and today I went um, to the goldsmith to pick a necklace. Oh. Um, sorry, you're falling a bit. Um, and I went to pick this necklace, which was broken. My daughter uh, grabbed it once and it broke like above around here. But as you can see, it's been like perfectly repaired. Like you cannot even see that it was broken once. And if you follow my channel since quite some time, you might know this necklace because it's one I normally always wear. I never like to take it off. It's my all the time necklace. Um, I have actually a video about it, how I configured it and so on, because it's uh, completely personalized with the uh, initials of my kids and a little heart. And the initials are um, paved with diamonds, but you could also have them not paved. You can have a lot of other materials. You can have even more letters, less letters, more symbols, whatever you want. Um, and yeah, it's from Maya, Bre Maya Brenner, she's based in Los Angeles and also in the UK and for example for Europe she will ship typically from the UK location. So if you want you can have a look, uh, there's a video about it in my channel, how I configured it and, and all the more details. Um, you can also choose how thick you want the chain to be and I like my chains to be very delicate, very thin, like you will almost not see the chain and so that the focus is on the little charms and so on. But in hindsight, I, I think on the long term it's probably the right decision, but right now with small kids to have picked the thinner chain, because you could choose how thick you want it, was probably a risk, <laughs> because it means as soon as one of the kids does a tiny bit of something, then it will break. And. Uh, but you know what, at least I have this great goldsmith, which is not far away and it's not too expensive to repair it. So it's, it's not the end of the world and the kids will grow up and then they will stop uh, breaking it. So, but uh, yeah, I love it. I'm going to start wearing it all the time again. And the other thing is maybe you saw it, maybe you, you will not be so surprised. Uh, in a video where I was showing all my jewelry, I was showing a pair of diamond earrings where I lost one of the diamond um, and I was wondering what to do and you had a lot of very very nice inputs and I really liked for example one of them was 
to now maybe turn it into something and then later on turn it maybe into something else that I could then pass on to my daughter and I like the idea a lot and at this stage um, to turn it into a ring would have been very more complicated and also probably harder than later on to adjust it or change it to give it to my daughter so I had it made very simply into a little um, yeah a little necklace thing you know like I can hang it into one of my necklace up it looks like that this is a thing and then yeah and I really like how it looks like I really like the a bit round shape of this one and it matches perfectly and I have um, several very thin uh, the goldsmith uh, had not uh, of the very thin uh, uh, necklace uh, things anymore chains so i will use one i already own or will buy one somewhere else um i have no no hurry there because again i i don't like when the chain is too big i like when the focus is then on the on the pendant and yeah and later on i asked him actually there was a way to make a system where i could use it at the same time as a ring like kind of clipping it in or fixing it in and as a necklace and he was saying probably you need to really think about it but that's gonna be quite expensive and I thought, yeah, then it's probably not worth it at the moment. Um, yeah, but later on, I will probably turn, turn it into something that I can then give to my to my daughter. Maybe for 18th birthday or something, like for a special occasion, maybe. Let's see. And yeah, that's it. And then I don't know what we're going to do. I guess I'm going to go for a nap. <laughs> and um, this afternoon, we will probably just play in the garden, uh, take it relaxed. Um, and then we're going to see what we do the next two days. And yeah. And that's about it. Good evening. I'm sorry for the lower uh, quality of the picture. Somehow, I don't know, because it's now the evening and it's very dark outside and I have um, the light on and somehow the quality is not so good of the video. But I do that because I wanted to show you something I just received and I'm so happy. So I've shown you um, when I cleaned my drawer in the bathroom and I also showed you how I cleaned my earrings. I did not show you how I also cleaned my complete desk, uh, complete um, in the kitchen on one of our area. We had a pile of mess that accumulated over time. My desk, it was kind of the same paper stuff accumulating over months. And I never had really had the time or the energy to clean all of that. And I don't know, this month I'm in a cleaning spree. <laughs> so I cleaned the bathroom finally took care of the earring thing that was annoying me since forever it's been working great i'm so happy with it got the kitchen the desk everything and i want to show you now one more step that i just got and i'm very happy and tomorrow there's even more coming i'm really i mean this month will have been cleaning months but let me show you so i just got the package and i'm gonna open it tac, tac. It's this little case. I'm going to take it out so you can see with a little mirror. It's from Amazon and it's basically, I'm going to use that to clean my pile of lipstick. So, so far I have them in a little box like that. That was like from Clara's and I just like keep them there. But it's obviously not optimum. It's a pain to look for them. I, I cannot see everything exactly. Everything's falling. So, uh, so I'm going to sort that and I'm going to show you the final result. And it's going to be hopefully very good. Oh my god, I almost had a huge scare because I look at the box and I was like, well, but it's, it's, it's kind of, of empty, like how am I supposed to organize this, you know? And I was like, my god, was I supposed to order like the thing separately, you know? Did I forget half the thing? And there was this like this thing inside and then I realized there's something inside. And so I think inside are the stuff that I'm gonna have to build inside. Yes, better like that. And we're done, it's not empty. They're all in there. I've put them reversed, which I know is not the most aesthetic. It would be more pretty to show the logo. But hear me out. When you have several of the same, how are you going to know which shade you want if they look the same from the top, you know? So I don't have time to, like, pick each of them and turn them around. And I know sometimes in the morning when I'm hurry, I will be confused. So I just put them reversed. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, otherwise the box is, I think, quite pretty. Little annoying thing, I thought these ones would fit because, you know, the, the top is looking a bit higher, but it does not. I can't close it if I put the big ones. So I'm a bit annoyed at that. Uh, it's also very heavy. I have to be careful when I open and close it. Um, I don't know what to do if I should just, if I just keep it open and then I could just let them in. 
or if I have to think about another solution for them. I don't know, this is a tiny bit annoying. Um, but yeah, it is uh, it is as it is. Um, at least it's still better than the horrible box I had. I have at least a bit of a better overview and all of that. So yeah, now um, let's see what we gonna do with the rest. Maybe I just keep it open. I don't know. I have to see. I have to think a bit about it. But that's it for tonight. Uh, that was like my little task of the evening. And yeah, now... I have a few other things to get to and um, nothing very fun. A bit of cleaning, a bit of eating, a bit of preparing things for tomorrow for the kids, these kind of things. And yeah, that's about it. Guys, I'm so happy. We're in the bedroom and we just finished building. You know, I was telling you yesterday that we are doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of reorganization and so on, that this month is a month of reorganizing everything. And we just finished building. Ta -da! I am very, very, very happy. My Birkin is not there because I have been using it, actually. Uh, I just changed myself uh, from... Uh, I was wearing a much lighter top, but uh, yeah, to help build the thing, that was not the best option. And yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's all organized, easy to grab. And it used to be in a cupboard that was closed in a corner where I just a tiny bit of space. And it was really not convenient. I could not see the bag was good. They started being like a bit pushed all together, which is definitely not good for them and the leather. So yeah, I am so happy. And I think that's probably the last reorganization of the month. I have no big other plan. I think I'm, I'm kind of half happy now with everything we've been cleaning and reorganizing. It's been a lot. Um, but yeah, let's say I, I might still get some crazy ideas. And yeah, so I'm very, 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 very happy. This is going to be much more convenient. And if you see, that's where I'm filming now my get ready with me because, well, we're in my, we're in my pantry, <laughs> my wardrobe and so on. So yeah, that's where I've been filming. And so this will be also a nice background, I think, on top of that. So yeah, so happy. Hi guys, we are now at the end of the month. It has been a crazy month, um, as you could see. Mostly a lot of organization, a lot of weird weather things. Um, yeah, Oof. and the weather is finally getting a bit better, but it's still very unstable. Like we move from warm to cold to a lot of different things. Um, yeah, but so I tried to show you a tiny bit more of cooking. It's not always easy. I, I tried to do also a few other times, but sometimes I'm cooking with my son and then um, it's a bit harder to film it and it's easier actually to take some pictures. And so it was the same for my outfits. I tried to show you a bit more of them, but um, it's not always easy because if the only thing I have to show you during the whole day is actually just an outfit because nothing else is happening, it feels kind of a bit weird to just um, show you random outfits so um i've also launched an instagram account this month that's also the other big thing i did um i did not really film it because there's not much to film there about what's going on um but there i'm also sharing a bit more daily looks and um i have to share also a bit cooking in the stories and and things like that so if you want to can go there and have a look and and follow my account and then you will see a bit more of that um let me know if you want me to still try to do it in the vlogs um i mean i'm showing you my daily outfits i will show you my outfit today i have this little shirt a very simple and a simple jean and socks <laughs> yeah sorry for the mess on the ground um as you can see i'm at home uh, i mostly film when i'm at home and that's when i have a bit more time and things are a bit more relaxed and it's a bit easier for me to film um and yeah yeah that's that's it i hope you enjoy this vlog if there's i don't know um some other kind of things you would like to see in the vlogs uh, uh, please just let me know um the purpose is also for to make things that that are fun for you to watch and that you enjoy and and to show you the things you are interested in so really don't hesitate to let me know um what it is what it is you like what it is you want to see more or less of and um yeah and that's it i will then see you um, for videos on my channel and for the vlog also next month have a lovely then well we end of may so have a lovely month of june bye guys <laughs>